does your company need a board of advisors or a fiduciary board of directors? Do you know the difference? And what factors will you take into account in making this important decision? Whether you select a board of advisors or a fiduciary board of directors, they will help you to guide your, your company today and into the future. Let's talk about a few of the factors that you should take into account in making this critical decision. Size is not a deciding factor for whether or not a board is important. The important factors are the vision of the owners or entrepreneur or shareholders and where they want to take the company and also if they want it to be a sustainable business and to succeed beyond just their skills. A board of advisors are a group of people who are selected by the CEO. They serve at the pleasure of that CEO and their advice is just that, it's advice. A board of directors, they serve at the pleasure of the shareholders. And that's a key ingredient because you could have shareholders who are not the president. So the board of directors, they are responsible to act in the best interest of all of the shareholders equally. This key difference means that the board of directors is guiding the direction of the company for the benefit of the organization as well as for all the shareholders. To build a board, it takes some time and some dedication and effort. I usually advise clients to take it in three steps. The first is really learn what boards are about, what they can do for you, and exactly how you want them to operate for you. The end result of that step is that you write a board charter, the contract between the shareholders and the members of the board and it outlines their roles, responsibilities, and their boundaries so they know exactly what you expect of them and where they can and cannot operate. Growing your board in terms of their knowledge and understanding of your business and their knowledge of being on a board is a critical piece that is frequently overlooked. So board continuing education, board evaluation, and board refreshment is very important. Ask those tough questions. Where do you want this business to be in 10 years? What do you need to do now in order to position yourself for 10 years from now? Who should be on your team? Those strategic issues. So bring on board strong strategic thinkers who are good and competent at working on a team and who can interact with a management team without stepping on their toes, that they understand the difference between guiding and directing and governing an organization versus running the organization. So contact us today at www.leadtothefuture.com. Let us help you lead your business to its best future.